The topic of this tutorial is parallel circuits. So as you can see from the diagram, we have a 12 volt voltage source, which in this case would be a battery, and that is connected to either end of three resistors, R1, R2 and R3. And the resistors, just like a pair of parallel lines, are parallel to each other. So this is why it's called a parallel circuit. Now for the parallel circuit, we're going to find five values that we require. So value 1 will be the total voltage of the circuit. Value 2 is the equivalent or the total resistance of the circuit. Value 3 is the total current through the circuit. Value 4 is the voltage drop across each resistor. And value 5 is the current through each resistor. So I've made a small sketch of the uh, circuit that we're going to look at up in the right hand corner. Now the first thing that we need to find is the total voltage of the circuit. And this is quite simple as it's just the, uh, the 12 volts that's supplied by the battery. So I'm going to make a, uh, a note of it up here. So VT for the total voltage is equal to 12 volts. Right, the second thing that we need to find then is the total circuit resistance and for that we're going to use this formula so 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 so we also have the values for R1, R2 and R3 which were given here so we can say that 1 over RT equals 1 over 5 ohms plus 1 over 10 ohms plus 1 over 20 ohms. Doing the calculations on this we get 1 over RT equals 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2 plus 1 divided by 10 0 0.1 plus 1 divided by 20 0 0.05 so adding those together 1 over RT is equal to 0 0.2 0 0.3 so it's 0 0.35 now doing a bit of algebra we need to get RT on its own so this would say that RT is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.35 and this turns out to be 2.86 ohms so the total resistance or the equivalent resistance of those three resistors together in parallel is equal to 2.86 ohms so I'll make a note of that up here. RT equals 2.86 ohms. Okay, so the third thing that we need to find is the total current through the circuit. And we can find this by using Ohm's law. Now that we've found the total resistance and the total voltage, we can say that V equals I times R and for our circuit we can say VT equals IT times RT so we need to do the algebra to get IT on its own so IT equals VT divided by RT now we know these two values so we have VT as 12 12 volts and RT as 2.86 ohms and that equals 4.2 amps so again I'll make a note of that up here so IT equals 4.2 amps right so the fourth thing that we need to find is the voltage drop across each resistor. 
Now the rule for this is Vt equals V1 equals V2 which equals V3. Now if we look at the drawing we can see that the voltage, the 12 volt voltage source is across all the resistors. So we have 12 volts across each resistor. So we can write this in a different way. So we say V1 equals Vt which equals 12 volts. V2 equals Vt which equals 12 volts. And V3 equals Vt which equals 12 volts. Now this is quite important because we'll need this for the next step. Okay, so I've made a note of that up here. Right, the fifth and final thing that we need to find then is the current through each of the resistors. And the rule for this is that the total current equals I1 plus I2 plus I3. So this is saying that the sum of the currents flowing through the resistors is equal to the total current flowing through the circuit. So the current being passed from the battery, flow, sorry, flowing from the battery into each of these resistors is divided up according to the resistance, the resistor's value. When you add the currents together, it equals the total resistance. Okay, so to determine the current through each resistor, we use Ohm's law. So Ohm's law tells us that I equals V over R. And we're looking for I1 through, all, through the resistor 1, so we're going to say I1 equals voltage 1 divided by resistor 1. So this equals V1 is equal to 12 volts divided by resistor 1, and that's 5. So this equals 2.4 amps and for I2 I2 equals V2 divided by R2 which equals V2 equals 12 volts divided by R2 which is 10 ohms and this equals 1.2 amps and then for I3, again V3 over R3 equals V3 equals 12 volts divided by R3 which is 20 ohms. So this equals 0 0.6 amps. And if we add all these together, we should get the value for IT, the total current. So 2.4 plus 1.2 gives us 3.6 plus 0 0.6 and that equals 4.2 amps.